Greetings, Hume Fogg families. This is Dr. Kelly Hargis, your school principal. I'm delighted to welcome all of our new students and parents, as well as those returning to the school year 2021 at the Castle. It's true we can't be together in person in the building to start things off as we always would and as we would certainly prefer, but we still can be together in spirit. I'm asking that you join me now and let's do a virtual tour of our building. Join me for orientation 2020. Upon entry to the building, you'll meet several amazing people, two of which are our sister principals, Dr. Benelli and Mr. Stanley. They are hardworking, student-centered, and always available and willing to help in any way they can. When you enter the main office, the first person you'll likely see is Ms. Carr, our receptionist and point person for all things Hume Fog. Behind her, you'll find Ms. Kraske, our attendance clerk, she oversees all attendance processing, excuse note management, and truancy issues. You can reach her at hfaattendance at mmps.org. Ms. Barnett is our bookkeeper, and she helps us with all things finance related. Around the corner from the main office and through our beautiful atrium is our library. There you'll find Ms. North, our library clerk, and Ms. Smithfield, our librarian extraordinaire. The library is one of the busiest places in our school building, and if I know Ms. Smithfield and Ms. North, and I do, this will likely be the case even during our virtual learning time. At the other end of the hallway is our school counseling office. Every student is assigned a counselor who serves as a guide, mentor, and advocate for their students assigned and they do this all four years of high school. And what I mean by that is, if you're assigned Miss Childress as a ninth grader, then Miss Childress will be serving you and your family in grades nine, 10, 11, and 12, all the way through to graduation. Miss Kanika Childress serves students last names A through D. Miss Janetta Harper serves students last names E through K. Miss Lauren Law serves students last names L through R. And Miss Catherine Sanford serves students' last names S through Z. As we transition to virtual learning, students must have a device and internet access. If you need a device, hotspot, or both, please reach out to the school ASAP. The first round of devices have been distributed just this week, but we have more. Once we have record of your request, we'll send you a link to our bookings app so that you can book your pickup date and time. Additionally, we'll be hosting a school supplies distribution starting the week of August 10th. More details will be sent to you about this via email. Instrument checkout may be done individually through your band or orchestra teacher. I wanna make sure we understand two key terms, synchronous and asynchronous. Synchronous learning will take place each day during your assigned class times. That's when you and your classmates and your teacher will join together live online, sharing in class discussion and other instructional activities. Asynchronous learning is learning that will take place independently. Let's look at what a typical day will be like for a student. Hume Fogg students will have synchronous learning every day. Students will report to each period at these times. On our A-Day schedule, or double odd, students will report to first, third, fifth, and seventh periods. Notice that first period starts at eight, third at 10.10, fifth at 12.35, and seventh at 1.30. The next day, running your B schedule, you'll go to your even classes. Second period at eight, fourth at 10.10, fifth period at 12.35, Remember, we host fifth period every day at Hume Fogg and sixth period at 1.30. 
Remember, every Tuesday, we're going to be hosting our night time, which is an advisory time, during which we'll meet synchronously from 9.35 to 10.05 each Tuesday. Your asynchronous or independent learning will occur outside of these class times. It is important that you do your assignments, your quizzes, and tests to earn your grades. Most of this work you'll do during asynchronous or independent time when you're not in class. Those earned grades will result in earned credits towards high school graduation. Please keep in mind, students, that even though we are doing this virtually, this is real school. It does count, and you must participate. Let's talk about attendance. We'll be tracking your login times in Schoology. You're counted present each day you log into work in Schoology, be it synchronous, asynchronous, or both. On the days you don't log in, you'll be marked absent unexcused in the system. Parents will be required to send an email to hfaattendance at mmps.org to request an excused absence. More specifics will be on our HumeFog handbook given out later to all students and families. At HumeFog, we want to make sure all of our students' needs are met. This includes the provision of healthy meals. So each day, between 11.30 and 1 p.m., we'll be serving breakfast and lunch in a grab-and-go format. Breakfast is free for all students. Lunch does cost $3, however. If you think you qualify for free or reduced lunch or need to fill out the CEP application to qualify, you can find more information about that at our MMPS website or reach out directly to our school offices. We'll be happy to help. Now let's run through some key dates. August 4th and 5th, our first two days of school, students will be logging into Schoology to attend synchronous meetings with their advisory groups, aka nighttime, at 9.35 each morning. These meetings will allow students the opportunity to gather important information from their advisors and to see old and new friends. August 6th, no school for students. August 7th, students will log into Schoology at the start times of each odd class period, periods 1, 3, 5, and 7, for a student-teacher meet and greet. There will be no content instruction provided during these short 20-minute meetings. August 10th, which is a Monday, students will log into Schoology and do their even class period meetings, periods 2, 4, and 6. Notice we are not expecting you to go to 5th period on Monday, August 10th, since you will have already completed your meet and greet time that Friday before. Again, there will be no content instruction provided during these short 20-minute meetings. August 11th, Tuesday, academic coursework will begin. Students will be expected to follow the double-odd synchronous class schedule and meet in nighttime as well, since it is a Tuesday. The next key date is August 20th, our virtual open house at 6 p.m. We'll be sending out more specific details about that event later via email. Our typical first meeting is not in virtual world, but it's usually in a full school assembly. At the start of each year, we join together in our auditorium to dedicate ourselves to continue on with the legacy of excellence that is Hume Fogg. We then end with our collective singing of the school alma mater. And while we're not together in person this year to start things off as we wish we could, we are together in spirit. We can make this a successful start, but we must work together, we must stay positive, and stay connected to one another. Blue Knights, we can and will conquer and prevail together. <laughs>